All right, I'm here with uh, John Wilsell. Welcome back to Bangkok, man. How was your recent tour of South Africa? Um, yeah, it was pretty good. Um, I had a really good time in um, South Africa. It was a beautiful, beautiful country. Um, good to be back. Sunny Bangkok, of course. Um, yeah, it went really well. Great shows, great people. Um, played with some awesome musicians like John Shaban, uh, Matt Vend, Carl Solly. Uh, went to three three different cities, played ten shows. It was really, really awesome. Um, yeah, amazed. I, I can't believe the music scene. It was, a, it was really great there. Yeah, so your, your new CD is out. Yeah, it's a really awesome album. Sounds super fleshed out. Very different from your band. What were your influences? What was that process like? Um, well, the band... I've always been a band guy. I've always been hardcore bands, punk bands, metal bands. Um, this was a bit of a different project. Um, I was something that I, I've had my sort of, for years I've talked about doing, maybe 10 years I've said I'm going to make an album, solo album, write songs for it. And it's a bit harder doing a solo thing. It's only you. It's not, it's not like a group. And even when I found recording, I'm like, oh, it's all up to me. And it was fun. It was a great process. But um, having the band there is great, you know, like, you know the formula. Okay, bass, guitar, drums, you know, it's all there. You know your parts. But by yourself, it's like, oh, look, now what do I do? It's like sometimes it was a bit daunting. And then, then you find the answer. Um, and then, yeah, it was, excuse me. Uh, yeah, it was the answer was there and it worked. Um, but, yeah, I'm happy with the salt. Like, it sounds great. Um, it's kind of dedicated to my grandfather, who has cancer, unfortunately. Um, he had cancer, and then they cured it, and the cure gave him another cancer. So I really made it for him. <laughs> That's what spurred me to do it. It's nice to hear that the project was a success, very personal for you, and it definitely is reflected in the album. So uh, what's next for you now? Um, well, when I was in um, South Africa, I got to see some amazing sights, and, and the music scene's really developed there, and the musicians, a lot of it's the, tori the storytelling. I really, really wanted to really sort of bring that here because I think Bangkok doesn't really see that. It sees acoustic artists playing in front of people eating, yeah, people playing on their phones. Um, I really wanted to bring this sort of storytelling element, this feeling in there. And I don't think you can get it from playing covers. Like, you know, where does the song come from? If it comes from yourself, you know, you, you project it. Yeah. And I and I feel it on stage. And people people were there in South Africa to go to the shows. Like, you know, it was beautiful. People went, we had a house shows, played like three house shows. And people there set up and one was like an amazing, like three story house with a pool, it was great. Um, another was in a small little house. It was, we were supposed to do a backyard thing, but it rained, so we went inside and families and stuff were there, it was beautiful. And another one, like, by the fireplace and because Cape Town was quite cold it was it was nice but it was a little bit cold um, and you'll see on the footage like it's beautiful but um it was nice everyone sitting around intimately drinking wine and watching and we played some pub shows as well I played a show uh, which was more of a Sunday afternoon roast sort of thing and um, that was cool but uh, you know you sort of came a little bit of background music and you had to win you had to win the audience over which was cool like really good experience like I think it really improved my game like really made me better at as a musician and you know you really have to take it's not about just playing a song it's about you know the energy and taking control of the stage and your presence so I think that really develops um, oh, what was the question <laughs> something like that <laughs> <laughs> I think it was something about what's next oh yeah I've got my um I've got my band we've got Sang Sun Massacre um we've got a tour coming up and we've got a music video coming up very soon it's actually finished we're just waiting for the right time to let it out there um, and make sure it's all perfect and that. Um, while I'm here, I'd like to say thank you to Uppercut and Avi. Cheers. Cheers. Um, craft beers. Craft beers in Bangkok. This is um, Golden Coins. Delicious. Delicious beer. <laughs> I'll ask you a question. What do you have to say about craft beer scene in Bangkok? Oh, man. Throwing it back to me. <laughs> Uh, it's a really exciting thing because it's not necessarily legal, but people really want it to happen, so they put their heart and soul into it. And it might not be the best beer in the world, but it's definitely getting there. And you can see the experimentalism and, and the passion in these people. And so, happy to be a part of anyone that enjoys to be a part of that. So, cheers, to that. cheers man. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> The heart's a cage and it's open Doors are broken 
Animals are lost in hills and plains Beast is roaming, I can't help but run away Hear the warning spoken in her And starting